Hey guys, Tech from Immerse RP. Today I'll be showing you how to install mods using an FTP client. First thing we want to do is head on over to Google and do a search of free FTP client. My preferred one is FileZilla, anyone will do. After you've downloaded and installed your program, obviously open it up, right? The information that we'll be needing out of here is, for this is host, username, password, and port. To locate these, we'll have to head all over to our dedicated server hosting website. Mine happens to be gportal. Now, to find this information, all you'll do is scroll down, and there it all is. We'll simply copy and paste all of this information into our FTP client. So we got the host, come back, port, username, password. We'll hit quick connect, do this little mumbo jumbo, and there we are, we're inside of our dedicated server files. First thing you'll notice is there's a question mark with nothing next to it. We'll go ahead and click that to expand the Conan Sandbox folder and go ahead and open that. We'll then navigate to the mods folder, select that, and then this is where our mods will be installed. Now, to locate the mod that you want to install, we'll head over to Steam. We'll click our Conan, we'll right click on Conan Exiles and go down to Properties. We'll select the tab Local Files and Browse Local Files. It will open up a window. From there, you want to go ahead and click Steam Apps from the bar. Then we'll click Workshop Content 440900. And then these are all the mods that you have. The one we're looking for is 13947. There it is. Okay. This is uh, Immersion. And there it is. Simple. Click on the URL bar, Control C, head back on over to FileZilla, and Control V, and it'll take you right to the folder. From there, you just simply click and drag the pack file into your FTP folder or your dedicated server folder. After the long process of waiting for it to upload, you'll now have to add it to the mod list. To do that with FileZilla, it's a simple right click, view edit file let it open up as you notice I've already added it it's this to add it it's just simply right clicking rename control C control V always make sure you include the pack otherwise the dot pack otherwise the mod will not work and the server will not recognize it after you've done all that just simply let's just make a quick change save it exit out FileZilla will say you've made a change. We're just going to say yes to automatically update, update it. After that's all said and done, we'll head on over to our G portal and then we'll make sure to click restart. If you do not click restart, the mods will not work. After you've done restarting, which I'm not going to do because I've done this earlier, we're going to load up Conan. Once Conan's loaded up, we're going to go ahead and click Play Online and Direct Connect. To get the Direct Connect IP and port, just simply head back over to your dedicated server hosting website, which once again, mine is gportal, and we'll just snag the IP. Control-C, head back on over to Conan, Control-V, click OK, and then we'll just wait for it to connect to the server. I've already loaded up all the mods. I'm sorry I didn't reiterate that Immerse is always loaded on my computer as you would probably assume <laughs> we're using the buildings and placeables mod right now just to test this does it always take this long oh my and there we go we have connected or began connection. Hmm. 
<laughs> Fast a little times in my single player game. But as you know, the server of the day message is up there, so you know you're connected online. Now, if I go to my feet, let's see if there's ember. Oh, enlightenment is right there, along with everything else. Immerse building and placeholds is installed on a dedicated server manually. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to comment. Join us in our Discord. We also have a Facebook, Twitter. Please like, follow, subscribe, and head on over to our Patreon where we have sneak peeks, polls, and other fun stuff for you guys to do just for a simple buck. Thanks for taking time to watch.